What's going on, Raider Nation? Autumn 196 here, and the Oakland Raiders went to Tennessee to face the Titans, and they actually won this game 17-10, to so I'm going to go over the game, some stats for you real quickly. The offense, Derek Carr threw one touchdown, one interception. He had about 300 yards. Um, the one interception, I'll touch on that really quickly. He threw a ball to Michael Crabtree. It was kind of a bullet pass, hit Cram Crabtree in the hands, went up in the air, and unfortunately a Titan, Tennessee Titan came down with it, and that was the interception. Can't really blame that on Derek Carr. It's not like it was a, a bad throw. You know, it got tipped in the air, and after that, you know, you never know what's going to happen. But it's still an interception. Um, the only receiving touchdown on the day was to Seth Roberts. It was about a 19-yard touchdown. Um, and then the other touchdown we had was a 22-yard rushing touchdown from Latavius Murray early in the game and about in the first quarter. Um, the other points we had was a field goal by Janikowski, which what, he made history today. He's the He has the most 50-plus yard field goals in NFL history. I believe that's what it is. So, you know, there's that. That's great to see. And we got the win, so that's awesome. Um, I pretty much touched on the offense already, but, you know, there were some problems. I don't think the play calling was all that great. We started off hot, you know, throwing the ball down the field. I was really happy with the play calling I was seeing, and then it opened up the run for Latavius Murray. After that opening touchdown, we didn't really see much. We only put up 17 points. We're the number one ranked offense in the NFL. And we can only put up 17. Uh, you know, this defense isn't awful, uh, the Titans defense, and it's not that great. It's okay. Dick LeBeau has them, you know, to a pretty uh, a serviceable defense, you know. Uh, but I figured we could have scored more points we had plenty of chances to and we just didn't a big part of that to me is the drops that was the biggest problem today for the Raiders uh Seth Roberts I think he dropped like three passes Clive Walford dropped like a couple first downs and Mark Cooper still has some issues with drops a lot of these would have been big plays you know converting a third down but uh Raiders the Raiders just dropped them. So, uh, you know, that's the biggest problem. We can't drop passes like that. And the other thing is penalties, defense, offense, and special teams. This is looking like a pretty undisciplined team. I know Jack Del Rio is talking about how disciplined they are. Well, you don't get these metal, these many penalties when you're disciplined, okay? They got to fix that, and they got to fix it fast. You're not going to be able to beat the Patriots and the Steelers, and you're not going to be able to go far in the playoffs if we get to the playoffs can't go too far with all these penalties, okay? Because good teams will make you pay for it. We got to tighten that up immediately, fix that immediately. But really, those are the only bad things. We still won, so I mean, if we didn't win, I'd be really a lot more upset about the penalties. But we did win. Uh, let's talk about the defense, guys. They, they only scored 10 points on us. Uh, we were the worst defense in the NFL, ranked number 32. Gave up over a thousand yards, seventy points. We were just awful. We had some things clicking today. Um, Demarco Murray got a touchdown, uh, a rushing touchdown when they were in the red zone, and they kicked a field goal, and that is it. So you got to feel good about that. Um, Marcus Mariota threw two interceptions. One was at the end of the first half. He threw one to Reggie Nelson. There was about eight seconds left on the clock. Reggie Nelson was returning the interception. The clock didn't start until he intercepted the ball. And then they said he stepped out of bounds, and we should have had like three or four seconds left on the clock, I think, but the ref said no. We could have had a chance for a field goal, but, you know, they said no, and we didn't get a chance to. Uh, it was stupid. It was really dumb. That shouldn't have happened. We should have had a chance for a field goal, but whatever. And then the other, other interception was Deshaun Smith, um, who had a pretty good game. You know, he was awful the first two games. He was getting burnt by everybody, and he really redeemed himself in a lot of ways in this game with that interception David Amerson was back there you know deflecting passes and all that good stuff Carl Joseph and Corey James got the start today no Ben Heaney he was in there you know limited snaps and then uh, Keith McGill and Nate Allen came in but really Carl Joseph uh, was the starter and he got he led the team with 10 tackles six solo tackles and he had a pretty good game um, hopefully we can see a lot more of him and we can see him develop um, and other than that you know Khalil Mack hasn't done anything still, guys. Uh, I know other people on the team, other people on the defense are going to have to you know, help him. Other guys are going to have to play well and maybe draw some attention off of him. But I don't know what it is. He just, he's been off. There was a couple penalties, offside penalties on him today, and he just hasn't looked that good. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. We did get the win. Uh, and, yeah, it was a close one. We pulled it out. The defense looks a lot better. Got to get these penalties fixed. 
Um, and hopefully there can be a week where it's not so close, you know, to the last second we can actually blow out a team if our offense and defense is clicking together. But that's all I really have to say, guys. We won. I'm so happy for this defense to get things going. I want to see more, more of Carl Joseph. I want to see Khalil Mack finally get something done next week against the Ravens. We go to Baltimore to play the Ravens. They're 3-0, so, you know, uh, they played some easy teams like the Browns and Dolphins, teams that don't look that good. But uh, they're still 3-0, nevertheless. So going to Baltimore next week. I'll make a video after that game. Thank you guys for watching this. I'll see you next week. Peace.